This year, the curse of Alton Manor comes to Alton Towers Resort. Let's get into this. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I know. I'm late to the party on this one. <laughs> but nevertheless, I had to share my thoughts on it. I really did. This is something I've been so excited to see happen for so, so long. So let's get a few things out of the way first before we start discussing this, shall we? Okay, so first things first. Yes, this is the official confirmed name of the Jewel Refurb coming to Alton Towers Resort this season. Secondly, it's set to open in spring this year. No official date confirmed just yet, but I'm sure Alton Towers are going to be telling us a lot more about exactly when we can expect that very, very soon. And thirdly, yes, you've probably watched thousands of videos on this exact topic by now. I know every man and his dog has jumped on this, but nevertheless, I want to share my thoughts and obviously discuss with you guys exactly what I think is going to be coming to that attraction and what you can expect from it when you do ride it this coming season. Now, make no mistake, you should be very excited for the Curse at Alton Manor. This is something that has not just kind of sort of come to life in six months. I'm sure Alton Towers Resort have worked on this for a very long time. And this is something that will have been in years in the planning as opposed to it just kind of been a case of, oh, well, we better do something with the attraction. So what can you expect from the Curse of Alton Manor when it does open this spring? Let's take a closer look. Right, so not yesterday, but the day before, we finally got our first look at the official concept art for The Curse at Old Manor. And it's safe to say that if this concept art is anything to go by with regards to the story, the standard of the attraction, and what you can expect from it, then we're in for something very, very special indeed. Now, I will stick that on your screens now. And as you can see there, you've got this very kind of retro 80s vibe sort of horror feel. Uh, and of course, over the top of the house there, you have the one and only, and it looks this way, Emily Alton, which of course, Emily Alton has featured within the Haunted House attraction for many years in the small doll's house that was always in that sort of uh, living room area. So it definitely looks like this is Emily Alton. Indeed, this kind of confirms to us exactly who it is that wants to play when this brand new attraction reopens. Now, Secondly, the thing to notice here is these kind of messed up dolls at the bottom and obviously what looks to be kind of spiders legs and spiders webs. So it's safe to say that we can probably expect those spider uh, figurines and all the rest of it within the house and those prop pieces to probably stay in some form and capacity. And not only that, with regards to the theme, we're definitely expecting to see this as kind of a doll's house theme. Uh, going into kind of a doll's house, a doll, doll's house that's kind of gone wrong uh, or rather, you know, maybe the dolls have kind of come out of a doll's house and taken over the property. Um, and obviously that's going to be the curse. I mean, there's so much scope to this and it looks absolutely amazing. But when they've released this on the website, and of course there is an official link, which I will stick in the uh, description below for you guys to go and check out very shortly once this has been uploaded, of course. Uh, Alton Towers obviously state that the curse of Alton Manor, a haunting dark ride, take you on a hair-raising journey through the spectacular twist and turns of the cursed manor. Coming ready or not, the abandoned Alton Manor, repossessed under mysterious circumstances, will be, will be inviting you inside. Have your wits about you as you ride deeper into the historic manor. So there you go. That alone really kind of sets the tone, doesn't it, for the ride and kind of gives you that first sort of feel as to exactly what you can expect from this when it does eventually open. But in terms of the story, uh, and obviously in terms of sort of set pieces and the quality of the theme that are going to kind of feature within this, what can you expect from that? Let's take a closer look at that. So as we know, John Wardley and both John Burton are collaborating on this project, and John Wardley was well known for creating the original Haunted House attraction. So it's safe to say that with this attraction being as iconic as it is with both park goers and obviously fans of the park, um, alike, you know, John Wardley won't have wanted to do anything trivial with this attraction. He really will have wanted to take it back to its original roots. And he's kind of confirmed that in quite a lot of interviews recently that he's kind of done, sort of suggesting that they've used more traditional techniques to kind of scare you as opposed to big sort of special effects and all that sort of thing. But, you know, it wouldn't be Merlin without adding something completely new that hasn't before been seen here in the UK to the attraction. So when the press release was released earlier, uh, over the last sort of day or so, we got a bit of a taste and a bit of a glimpse from them uh, as to kind of what they are doing with it. And I'm just going to read you a bit of this out now because it's very, very exciting. It really, really is. So it says, although there is limited information about what uh, 
uh, to expect with the rise. Creators of the Curse of Autumn Manor are said to have found new and unimaginable ways to scare and surprise fans with special effects and visuals that have never before been seen from a UK theme park. So, I mean, that sounds absolutely brilliant. And indeed, what are these new techniques and what are these unimaginable kind of ways they've found? Well, there's heavy rumours suggesting that a lot of this attraction may have drawn heavy inspiration from other attractions of its kind in the world, such as the Haunted Mansion and Phantom Manor and all that sort of thing. And it would make a lot of sense for that. But of course, you know, they wouldn't want to follow that trend and do the exact same things. Now, in terms of what they might have done, with them using more traditional techniques, is employ the likes of Pepper's Ghost to kind of create that illusion of a sort of translucent figure or translucent apparition. Very, very likely they may have done that. On top of that, I have speculated that we could potentially see something very similar to the end of Phantom Manor, where kind of ghosts and things appear in your ride vehicle with you. Maybe that's something they've done, maybe it isn't, who knows. But at the end of the day, that would be very, very cool. And in terms of sort of more traditional effects, more traditional feels, they said, you know, obviously the, the kind of sort of the Victorian effects and the Victorian techniques are still very, very kind of popular. So they're very physical techniques and those are things that can be very easily installed. But it's safe to say that whatever they have done with the Curse of Autumn Manor will be very different to its previous rendition of Jewel and both the Haunted House altogether. It's going to be much darker, much more creepy uh, and much more in line with kind of what we wanted from this attraction in the first place. I've said it for years. They have the potential to do something very, very exciting with this attraction and create one of the most scary dark rides here in the UK if it's done correctly. So if that concept art, concept art rather is anything to go by, then we are definitely looking at something very special when this does open at Alton Towers this spring. But when will that be? Or when could it potentially be? So to date, the current estimated opening for the curse at Alton Manor is spring 2023. But... There's been a lot of rumours circulating suggesting that the new ride could in fact open with the rest of the attractions at the park on opening day. Now this has spurred on pass holders to completely book out that day. So if you are a Merlin annual pass holder you can no longer book onto the opening day of Alton Towers. And being under no illusion the hype for this new attraction is very very real. Very real indeed. There is a lot of people that are very excited for it just as much as myself. So it's going to be very busy on opening day. But as I say, today it's just currently estimated as spring. So there is no official confirmation whether or not it will open on opening day. Now, what the resort have said is that more details on this new attraction and obviously when it will open will more than likely become clear next month. They're going to drop more details in February and hopefully with it leading up to opening day on the 18th of March, we should be in a much better position by early March to know exactly when this will open to the public. Now, if it is opening day, then you'll want to get down there early, believe me, because it's going to get very busy indeed. But it is safe to say that this is going to be something very special. It's a great new addition for the park, considering the fact that Nemesis has pretty much which been moved near enough in its entirety now. Um, and obviously they're doing a lot of work down there. And of course, the rumours surrounding Nemesis Subterra uh, reopening still, you know, they're still making rounds as well. Again, no official confirmation, but all the work that has been taking place on that site with the building and the floor and the queue line and everything else, it all looked very promising. So hopefully we'll find out more about that very soon. But yeah, there we go. Very exciting times. The Curse of Alton Manor or at Alton Manor looks absolutely amazing. Um, and I can't wait to find out more about it in the coming months. But if you have enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, turning on those notifications. And again, if you have enjoyed it, please leave me a like uh, below. And also as well, are you guys excited for it? What are you most looking forward to? What are your expectations for the Curse at Old Manor? Do let me know in the comments below, guys. And for now, I'm Joe. This is Theme Park Insanity. And I will see you very soon indeed. Take care. Bye-bye.